Hi, my name is Steve Lays, and today I'm going to show you how to draw boxes in one point perspective, but put a little twist on it. We're going to show you how to draw boxes that are all connected. So the title of this assignment is called We're All Connected. So you're going to start off by, you don't have to draw a horizon line, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a vanishing point somewhere on the paper here. You don't have to label it, just don't make the vanishing point too big. So there we have the vanishing point. Now what you're going to do, we're just going to draw some boxes. And this assignment I require at least five to be drawn. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to draw three. But I can make a slideshow uh, showing some some more samples of finished connected boxes. So you can get some good ideas. I'll post that after this tutorial. It doesn't really matter where you put them, the squares or rectangles. You can draw other shapes too. But squares and rectangles are the easiest. What I tell the students is you usually you want to create uh, choose the theme or if you can't think of a theme what you can do is just use a color scheme like warm or cool complementary or analogous colors and you'll get the same credit so you have a couple options so we draw our shapes and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler make sure your ruler is touching the corner of the shape touching the vanishing point line that up and you see it's drawn towards the vanishing point. That was the orthogonal line we just drew. I'm going to repeat that. Remember try not to have your squares or your box, what will be your boxes, touch the vanishing point. Now that we have our orthogonal lines drawn, we're going to connect these lines. Make sure your rulers or excuse me, parallel to the square. like that. Now repeat that process to the other two shapes. Doesn't really matter. A lot of people ask like how long do the orthogonal lines need to be? Like I said, you don't want to touch the vanishing point with the orthogonal lines, but uh, you can make them shorter and you can make them a little bit longer than I have them. Never a problem. Now you notice some corners I'm not lining up with the vanishing point. That's because we are not going to make these appear glass or open. I'll do that in a later lesson. So you have one, two, three, and on the assignment, remember we're going to have five, but for the purpose of this lesson, we only have three. Now the next thing you're going to do is you want to figure out you want a way to have all the boxes connected. And to do that, you can choose many different ways from things like barbed wire, ribbon, lace, however you want to um, connect the boxes completely up to you. I'm just going to show you a couple different ways. Now first you want to figure out where your source is coming from. I'm just going to do uh, let's say a ribbon. I'll just have the ribbon start from the vanishing point. So I'm just going to start this ribbon. You know you can have it fold and twist just like that now you see where it comes into the box what you want to do is just draw an oval and to make this ribbon look like it's going inside of the box just draw all the way up to the top edge now I need to erase this part here of the original square to make it look like it actually entered the box now where it enters it also must come out somewhere so you can choose the top the side I'll choose right here. I'll draw an oval. And again, just another ribbon. Just like that. And then another oval. 
you can you don't have to do ovals. You can have you know squares or rectangles, whatever you like. Just remember to erase this little section right there of the box that I don't want there. It kind of obstructs our view. Let, and then we're just going to keep repeating this ribbon pattern here. I'll have it go in the top section here. And if you want to have what I call, I tell the students a preview window so you can kind of see the ribbon coming through here, you could do that. And let's say we want it to come back out. Now we don't have to have the ribbon join back to the vanishing point, but what I'd like to see is I'd like to see the ribbon kind of exit. So there we have the ribbon exiting the box. From this point, you obviously add a couple more boxes. You choose a coloring uh, scheme, like uh, cool, warm, complimentary, or you continue with your theme. And make sure just to label that v VP to get full credit. And that's how you draw connected boxes. Thanks.